Hallelujah. I praise God. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord for such a beautiful moment. I believe that every one of you, God has been good unto you. Praise God. Um, I feel like uh, today I want to talk about something like the DNA of being children or sons of God. Praise God. For the Bible says that we were not given the spirit of fear, of slavery, but the spirit of adoption. So we became children of God by adoption. <laughs> Praise God. Uh, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We glorify your holy name even this evening, this morning, this afternoon. We want to thank you for the great opportunity that you've given unto us. Even to be called children or your, 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 your children. Father, I pray that may you pour out your spirit. May you pour out your grace. May you pour out your blessing. The blessing that you give those who are called your children. Even now. Give us your understanding. That we may know you and understand you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. Amen and amen. Praise God. Uh, please, if you have your Bibles, open it with me and go into the book, uh, into the letter of St. Peter, sorry, St. John, chapter 1, First John, chapter 3. Okay. Uh, I just want to talk about the, the DNA of children of God. Praise God. The purpose of the book of the letter of uh, First John, of the, or the first letter of John, the purpose of it is to let the children of God, to let the believers understand and know who they are. In fact, to resume Christians in their faith. Praise God. To bring that life that has been talk, 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 uh, talking about or talking about into reality. Okay. The key verse of this letter is chapter 5, verse 13. It states this way. It says, I have written this to you who believe in the name of the Son of God. The key verse, the Apostle, uh, uh, Apostle John is saying, uh, is talking to us and, and is saying that I have written these things to you, believers. So what makes us children of God is being believers. For the Bible says, as many as believed his name, as many as as welcomed him who believed in his name he gave a right of being of called children of God so now he's saying that I have written these things to you believers mm -hmm. to you who believe in the name of the son of God now the fact that you believe the name in the name of the son of God it makes you a son. Because it's the son that makes us to be sons. Praise God. Listen very carefully. It says that it is first, uh, first John chapter 5 verse 13. It says that I have written this to you who believe in the name of the son of God so that you may know you so that you may know you have eternal life. For the Bible says that he was the son of the life. The life is the very ancient, is the DNA of those who are called the children of God. And when you talk about life, we don't talk about this merry life. The one that dogs have. The one like mosquitoes have. No. We are talking 
talking about the internal life. For the son said, I am the good shepherd. And I have come that you may have life in, in, and life in abundance. So the DNA of those who are called his children is life. Is internal life. Praise God. So he says, now listen. This letter is not for everyone. This letter is not like the gospel because he's, he's, he is the same person who wrote the gospel. But the gospel goes to the entire world. Now this letter is going specifically to those who believe in the name of the, in the, name of the Son of God. Praise God. It goes specifically to those He who born of spirit is spirit. And he who born of flesh is flesh. But you, now we are sons of God. Who are not born of blood and flesh. But born of spirit. After believing. In him. Ephesians chapter 1. Verse 13. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 13. Let me read for you. Ephesians chapter 1. We are still there. But let me read for you this. A very scripture. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3. Apostle Paul. Uh, chapter 1 verse 13. He says. Oh, let me read from verse 12. God's purpose was that we. Jew. Who were the first. In trust in Christ. To trust, to trust in Christ. Would bring praise. And glory to God. And now you Gentiles, you have heard the truth, the gospel, the good news, that God saves you. And when you have believed in Christ, he identified you as his own. And you Gentiles, after you've heard this gospel, the good news, that God has saved you. And you have identified with him. He has, he has identified with you. He has called you children. He has called you his own. Praise God. Listen. The Bible says. He identified with you. He identified you as his own. By giving you the Holy Spirit. Praise God. And now we know that we are children of God. Not born of flesh. Not born of blood. Not born of the desires of men. But by the will of God. Praise God. John chapter 1. John the gospel chapter 1. Verse. Let me read it for you. Verse. Uh, 14 verse 12 uh, 13 and 14 it states like this one uh, it says that uh, okay f uh, the gospel of, uh, of St. John chapter 1 verse 12 let me read it from verse 13 it says oh yes thank you Jesus but oh verse 12 but all, oh, to all who believed him and accepted him, he gave the right to become children of God. He gave the right to become children of God. He gave the right to become. Let me tell you this. You may have a right. You can have a right. But you not knowing your rights, those rights do not work for you. You need knowledge. You need understanding. To apply your rights. Let me say this. Every prisoner or everyone who accused to be a, or a suspect. Has a right of being out of the prison. Has a right of, be, of being given the bail. But not everyone is given that bail. You must know. You have to 
you, 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 you have to get this knowledge. You have to be a partake of this understanding. And you argue for it. The Bible says he gave them the right to become children of God. And see, John is, is talking to us and saying that, listen to me. You who believed in the, in the name of the Son, you need to understand and to know that one of your rights, you have the internal life. It is our right. It, it, it is our right. Miracles are, you know, for Jesus say that miracles, signs and wonders, healing is for the children of God. It's for the children of the kingdom. So we are here to enjoy the things of our Father. Okay, I'm about to finish. Let me read for you this verse. Let me go back to First John. First John chapter 3. Praise God. Uh, I, I've stated to you the, 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 the key verse of this book. As you read it, you need to understand. Okay. First uh, John chapter 5. The Bible says that who overcomes the world Praise God. First John chapter 5. The Bible says. Verse 4. For every children of God. Defeats. This evil world. And we achieve. This victory. Through our faith. And who can win. This battle. Against the world. Only those who believe. That Jesus is the son of God. Who can overcome? Who is that one that can overcome the world? This evil world. Only those who believe that Jesus is the son of God. So whatever or whichever born of God overcometh the world. But which is that overcometh the world? He says that even our faith, it is our faith in the name of the Son of God that makes us conquerors. That makes us to overcome the fears, the evil, the defeat, the fear, the pain of this world. The temptations. Praise God. Okay. Let me go on. It says, And Jesus Christ was revealed as God's son by his baptism in water and by shedding of his blood on the cross. Not by water only, but by water and blood. And the spirit who is truth confirms it with his testimony. Let me tell you this. Even the spirit of the Lord, he says that these three testifies, these three testifies that we are children of God. The one is called water, spirit, and the word. The three testifies on, on the earth. And the three testifies in the heaven, which is the word, the spirit, and the father. Listen, the three testifies in the heaven that we are children of God. The three testifies on the earth that we are children of God. Praise God. Romans chapter 8 verse 16. The Bible says that even the spirit of God testify that we are children of God. Even the spirit of God testifies with our spirit. Even the spirit of God testify with your spirit that you are children of God. Praise God. And that is the DNA that we have. You being with the spirit of the Lord within you. It testifies that you are children of God. You being with the internal life that within you. No, let me tell you this. We are not going into the internal life. But we have that life within us. For the Bible says that we have these riches. In these wicked vessels. In these clay jars. You know, a lot of believers think and uh, and I, I don't I don't blame them but they, they they think that you know we are to go into the internal life after death let me tell you this we have that life even now 
Because the Bible says that he who has the son has life. He who has the son has life. So we have it now. We have it now. And even the spirit of the Lord testifies with our spirits that we are sons and children of God. Praise God. Not born of flesh. Praise God. Not, not born of flesh. Not born of anything. Not born of, of, of the desires of men. But born of God. Okay. The Bible says that but to all who believed in him John chapter 1 verse 12. But to all who believed in him and, affiz, uh, 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 and accepted him, he gave the right to become children of God. Verse 13. They are born not with the physical birth resulting from human passion or plan, but a birth Woo! That comes from God. We are children of God. And born by the will of God. And born from the love of the Father. Praise God. Okay. The Bible goes on and says. So. The word became fresh. He predestined us to be called his children. He adopted us. He gave us the spirit of adoption. But not only that. We know that if you are adopted, you don't have the blood of your father who adopted you. But for us, we adopted and we have the blood of the father. Him who adopted us. Because he shed his blood. John in the letter of first John chapter 5 he said that Jesus has confirmed to be called children of uh, a son of God in after shedding his blood and in in, 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 in in his baptism so let me tell you this we are children of God by adoption but now we have the DNA of the father the DNA is in the blood of the son after son listen 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 very carefully after his son pouring out his blood for us we became partakers of his blood and now we have the DNA of the father because we have the blood of the son within us Woo! for the bible says for the life of flesh is in the blood and he has given us the blood as an atonement because it is the blood that makes an atonement for one his soul it is the blood that makes an atonement for one his life. That is the Vitka chapter 17 verse 11. It says that for the life of every, of every, every creature is in the blood. And he has given you this blood as an atonement for your, one, for, for your lives. Because it is the blood that makes an atonement for one's soul. Praise God. It is the blood. So now see, we are children of God by adoption. And we have become partakers of his inheritance. Oh, the Bible says and if we are children, now we are co-hires with the Christ because the son has made us to be children. He has made us to be called sons of God. Because it is the son that sets us free. Praise God. I'm about to finish. I'm about to finish. Now, born not by the plans of men. Not even by the desires of men. There is no last in us becoming children of God. It is only by his will. And now we know that we are children of God. Even the spirit of the Lord testifies with our spirits that we are children of God. I want to encourage you that no matter what you're going through, no matter what wrong you have done in your past. Now you are no longer that creature. You are new creation. For the Bible says there is no condemnation in those who are in Christ Jesus. 
Because you are no longer your father's children. You are no longer your father's son. You are no longer your father's daughter. You are no longer that boy who belonged to your father. You have another father. And that father called God. Your father is God. Jehovah. Okay. First John chapter 3 verse 1 and 2. As I wind up. First John chapter 3 verse 1 and 2. He says that. See how. Very much our father loved us. For he calls us his children. And that is what we are. <laughs> See how much the father has loved us. He has called us his children. And that's who we are. That's who you are. It doesn't matter who people calls you. It doesn't matter what is in your history. But who is who are you in God? He says, that's how he calls us. And that's who we are. Let me tell you this. The world may call you names. The world may call you something, someone. But who you are. You need to identify yourself. He has identified us. He has identified us as his own. See, the Bible says, see how much our father loves us. For he calls us his children. And that is what we are. But the people who belong to this world does not recognize that we are children of God. But the people who belong to this world does not recognize that we have become a new creature. The people of this world does not recognize that we are forgiven. The people of this world does not recognize that we are another person. See, they did not recognize Jesus as the son of God. They will not recognize you. But you need to know who you are. For the Bible has stated it very well. That he is called us. He has called us his own. He has called us his children. And that's who we are. That's who we are. For the people of this evil world. Does not recognize who we are. Does not understand who we are. Does not understand who you are. Does not understand who I am. But I know this one thing. That I belong to my father. And my father is in heaven. That's why when disciples asked him. To, 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 teach, to, to teach them how to pray. He said pray like this. Pray that our father. Who art in heaven. Our father we belong to our father. Who is in heaven. Belong to our Father. We belong to our Father, who is in heaven. For the Bible says, "He has our mind." La la ba si terebo si. See how much the Father has loved us, for He has called us His own, His children, and that is what we are. But listen, but the people who belong to this world. Does not recognize that we are God's children because they do not know Him. If they knew the Father, they wouldn't crucify His children. I mean, who's His son? If they knew that you belong to your Father in heaven, they wouldn't crucify you. Praise God. If they knew that you belong to another father, if they knew, my brother, my sister, if that boss knew that you belong to, oh my goodness, let, let, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. The man called Potiphar <laughs> got to know, he identified, he, he, he critiqued watched this man called Joseph. He knew that this man, I have gathered all this. I'm blessed because of this one man. Because he is of another father. He is not an Egyptian. But I'm blessed because of him. If your boss knew <laughs> that you belong to another father, he would have kept you to that, into that job. But because now he did not know, that's why he chased you away. It is the same person. He is Apostle John. 
He said that they went away from us because they were not belong to us. If they were among us, they wouldn't have left. He said that. But the fact that they left, they left us, that is the evidence that they were not among us. Praise God. I'm about to finish. Time is fast point spent. Verse 2. Now, dear friends, we are already God's children. But he has not yet shown us what we will be like when Christ appears. But we do know that we will be like him. For we will see him as he really is. Listen. He goes on and say, listen to me. My dear, children, my, my dear friends, we are God's, God's children. Let me tell you this. Even those challenges that, even in those challenges that you're going through, you are God's child. But now because you have not seen the sun, that's why you have not got the, the countenance of his children, of, of, of his son. Listen, he says, dear friends, we are already God's children, but he has not yet shown us how we will be like. I don't know what, you, what, what situation, what you're going through, but even in that thing, you are God's child. He has not revealed yet who you are. My prayer and my desire that we may understand him. Because as long as you know the son, now you know who you are. Now you overcome what you're going through. Because the Bible says, whichever born of God overcometh the world. And which of that that overcometh the world? Even our faith. Even our faith. We are children of God. But he has not yet revealed how we look like. He's, he goes on and says that, that for we will see him oh, oh, oh. but we, we do not know that we will uh, listen. But we do know that we will be like him for we will see him as he really after seeing him, we will be like him. After knowing him, we will be like him. But that does not mean that we are not children of God. He has said, we know that we are children of God. He has called us his own. And that's who we are. The Bible says, by the people of this world, the people who belong to this evil world, does not recognize that we are children of God. But let us identify ourselves. Let us know ourselves. Let you know. I mean, I beseech you that you, you may know that you belong to your Father who is in heaven. That you belong to God. I beseech you that you know your Father. It doesn't matter how people call you. It doesn't matter how people say that you belong to who. But you need to know who you are. Whom you belong to. Praise God. Father, I want to thank you. That even now you have called us to be your children. The Bible says that you, you have predestined us. You have given us the spirit, of, the, the, the spirit of adoption. For the Bible says that we are not given the spirit of fear. But the spirit of adoption. Which calls us to be children of God. The spirit of sonship. I pray that let us let, let that sink into our hearts and then and, and know and understand that we are yours and we belong to you. Father, now release the spirit of sonship. Release the grace that you give your children. Relieve, release that blessing. Release that life that you give your children. For the Bible says that we are God's children 
and we have the internal life within us, within us. For the Bible says that we are children of God. We who has the Son have the internal life. May God bless you. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen and amen.